Hello, Math 141. We are talking about horizontal asymptotes for rational functions. There are three case scenarios when you have a rational function. Uh, case one, uh, I, write, I wrote that in blue, f of x is such that the, the highest power of the numerator is greater than the highest power of the denominator. Well, if that's the case, the top or the numerator as x is getting larger and larger, it doesn't matter from what direction, the numerator gets you know, larger and larger in a faster rate than the denominator. So therefore, in the first case, if the highest degree of the top is larger than the highest de degree of the denominator, there is no horizontal asymptote. So for case one, we have none, no horizontal asymptote. How about case two, uh, the green? If n or if the degree of the top is smaller than the degree of the denominator. If the degree of the top is smaller, that means that this time the denominator is getting larger and larger in a faster rate. And since the denominator getting is larger in a faster rate, the numerator, it doesn't matter how big it is, divided by a number that is much larger than itself is approaching zero. So y equals, y equals zero or x axis or x axis is the horizontal asymptote. Okay. And what if case three, the degree of the numerator and the degree of the denominator are the same? I mean, we are talking about the largest degree, something like, let's say, um, let me go to the next page. Let's say, and let me do this with black, f of x equals to say x to the power of five plus da 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 and over x to the power of five plus something else. Well, in this case, in the third case, the uh, numerator and the denominator are getting larger and larger at the same rate. And so we are going to, at the end, you know, we are going to win for the very, very large values of x. What's becoming very important are the coefficients of the largest uh, power. Let's say in this case, let's say if this was 2x to the fifth, and this one, let's say, was 3x to the fifth. And I'm thinking, judging by the uh, tone of that email, this was a confusion for a uh, student that why is that the case? Well, let me just show you why that is the case. Why is it that if the higher power of the top and the higher power of the denominator are the same, then our um, uh, horizontal asymptote is, depends on the coefficients of those powers. In this case, y equals two over three is going to be our horizontal asymptote. Let's have an example of that. Let me go to the next page. Suppose I have, let's say y equals uh, two x to the power of five plus four x minus one, something as simple as that. And in the denominator, I have, let's say, uh, three x to the power of five minus 40 x plus 500 x, something that definitely doesn't look like the numerator. Okay. So, in here to show you, informally prove to you that y equals y equals two third is my horizontal asymptote. I'm going to go ahead and divide the top and bottom of this main fraction. I'm going to divide everything by x to the power of five. So divide 
all by x to the power of 5 divide the denominator by x to the power of 5. Or you can think of it as multiplying it by multiplying top and bottom by 1 over x to the fifth. It doesn't matter how you look at it. So notice that what happens in here, now I'm going to have y equals to 2x to the fifth divided by x to the fifth is only 2. 4x divided by x to the fifth is going to be plus 4 over x and minus 1 over x to the fifth. And let me put a line here to, for things not to get mixed. And on the denominator, I have um, x to the fifth cancels x to the fifth. So I have 3 minus 40 over x to the power of 4. Uh, plus, um, and actually, let me get rid of this x in here, plus 500 over x to the power of 5. All right. So notice as x is getting larger and larger and larger, okay, this goes to 0. 4 divided by a very large number is 0. I mean, million, billion, 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 billion. Just pretend I'm staying here for like, I don't know, two years and keep saying billion, 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 billion. Really big number. This is going to 0. This is going to 0. This is going to 0. So y equals to 2 third is the only thing that I have left. So here you're going to say, look at this and say, could I not use this for uh, other two cases, case one and case two? And you should certainly do that. Let's, let's look at case one that we have. Case one, we said that n greater than m. Let's say we have y equals to um, 2x to the power of uh, 6 minus x cubed divided by um, uh, 5x to the power of 5 uh, plus x to the power of 4 minus 1. Okay. Now notice what happens in here. I even don't, you know, if I... Um, um, if I divide everything by the largest power of the numerator, I'll get in trouble because I'll get what I'll get in the denominator is zero. So I'm going to divide both top and bottom, or you can think of it as multiplying top and bottom by one over x to the fifth. I actually prefer that one over x to the fifth. So now what I'm going to have is y equals to. Uh, 2x to the 6 times x to the 5th is going to only be 2x because x to the 5th cancels x to the 6. I'm left with 1x minus, okay, I'm going to have 1 over x to the 2nd all over. I'm going to put this y equals further down. In the numerator, I'm going to have 5 plus 1 over x minus 1 over x to the fifth. And as x getting larger and larger and larger and larger, okay, this is going to zero, okay, this is going to zero, this is going to zero, and 2x up here is, you know, as x is getting larger, is approaching infinity. And in inf infinity divided by five, you know, a very, 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 very large number divided by five is still very, very, very large number. So it's not, so my rational function or y value is not approaching any particular number. So once again, if the degree of the numerator is greater than the degree of the denominator, we have no horizontal asymptote. Okay. The second case that we talked about was that, uh, n is smaller than m. 
So suppose I have y equals to, uh, let's say five x cubed minus four x plus one divided by um, x to the four plus 10. So in this case, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and multiply top and bottom by one over x cubed. You can think of it as dividing by x cubed, same thing, one over x cubed and one over x cubed. So what I'm gonna have y equals, this gives me a five minus, okay, um, four over x to the second uh, plus one over x cubed all over x plus 10 over x cubed. For the very, very, very large values of x, what happens? This is going to zero. This is going to zero. This is going to zero. And notice I'm only left with y equals five over x. And what happens to the, as the denominator is getting larger and larger and larger, five over a very, very, very large number is approaching zero. So y equals zero, which is also, I can write it as or x axis, is my horizontal, um, my horizontal um, asymptote. Now, one recap on last time. For rational functions, you know, we have three case scenarios. The degree of the numerator is larger. And if that's the case, I'm gonna have no horizontal asymptote. Case two, the degree of the numerator is smaller. If that's the case, then y equals zero or x axis is my horizontal asymptote. And case three was if the degree of the uh, numerator and the denominator are the same. So if for one last example, let's say if I had f of x equals to seven x to the fourth minus x to the third plus two x minus five all over, um, let's say two x to the fourth plus x cubed minus 50 x, okay? I know that the highest denominators are the same, four here and four here. So y equals seven half is my horizontal asymptote. One of the things that I want to not, not to forget to tell you at the very end is unlike vertical asymptotes, your function can touch the horizontal asymptote. We have functions that sometimes, you know, they go through the horizontal asymptote and then bounce back and come back several times, you know. So uh, um, can the graph of a rational function touch or cross the horizontal asymptote? And the answer is yes, it can. Okay, I hope you find this video helpful. Thank you.